Wanna start? guys thanks for tuning in for today's video uh we actually uh got the truck back finally about uh took about a week almost two weeks but uh we finally got the truck back uh, uh i know you guys uh seen in the other videos um that the truck was getting the lifters and the cam replaced because uh, uh there's a problem with these uh gen 3s with the lifters and the cam like the lifters eat up the cam and it starts to misfire, the truck runs really bad. Uh, I know a few of you guys have problems like that before. Some people would go with a stock cam replacement, but some people like me go with the performance. So I actually um, uh, got a AMS Racing Stage 3 cam uh, and we put it on there along with some non-MDS lifters and um, uh, got it tuned by Jay Green actually. I know you guys have told me to go with him and I've already was set on having him tune my truck. So he did a good job. He tuned it to run. I feel like with some other like data logs and uh, you know retunes, I think the truck can perform a lot better, but definitely the performance is there. So the truck's actually right here. She's uh, finally back after a week, almost not driving it. But shout out to Jesus for uh, taking me uh, to pick me up and to drop me off uh, he actually uh, drove me up there to the Soto because I obviously didn't have a daily which is needed um, but uh, he helped me out he uh, took me to go pick up the truck uh, last night because a guy texted me he was uh, test driving it making sure everything was good he said uh, everything checked out you can go pick it up so we did and uh, the truck the truck drives fine it it um the tune did it really good uh i'm, I'm glad i went with jay green uh the tuning wise like it could like i said it could use a few tweaks because this is the first tune on the on the ams racing cam and i'm pretty sure it can do a lot better but uh for now yeah i'm i'm happy the truck is back uh, i miss driving it i uh, i did some pulls actually and it pulls really good and um, like the, the stall, stall wise, it feels like it doesn't need it, but I'm pretty sure it's it, it would help getting like a 3K stall. But other than that, the truck runs really good. I have a few problems with startup. It like I switch the key, I turn the key to the position and I turn it on and it, it kind of doesn't want to start, but after it starts, like I have no problems. It hasn't shut off on me or anything. I think this tune is just to run it. I'm uh, pretty sure Jay Green's gonna need some data logs, but um, but yeah, guys, the truck is back. The truck sounds good. It uh, it wasn't as choppy as I thought it was gonna be, cause it's a it is a low lift cam. It's not a high end cam. But the reason why I went with this one was because there's no point in going to a stage three or four if uh, you don't have anything done to the motor, you know, like um, uh, you know, upgraded upgraded stuff. And uh, I think with this one, it's actually gonna pull better. Um, but this one, this definitely won't be the last cam on my truck. I will be swapping out cams, you know, just experiment, see what's best for the truck, just like anyone would. So, but yeah, guys, uh, I'm gonna show you, actually, I have it inside my truck. I have the, uh, the old cam and the lifters, and I'm gonna show you guys here in a bit, and then we'll get to the startup of the video. So stay tuned. All right, guys. Um, I know you guys remember that I said that the that I was just taking a guess how the lifters ate up the cam. Well, I wasn't wrong because this is the old cam that was in my truck, it's a stock cam, and uh, this is where where is it? It's kind of like confusing. But, oh, it was on my hand. But this is where lifter number three was at on cylinder three. Look at it. And it looks bad. Like, just look at the difference between um, all these. I mean, these look all fine except for this one. This was like destroyed. Like, I got a new oil pan. 
you know, just in case it had shavings, I'm pretty sure it did. But that looks really bad. Like, like damn, I didn't think it was that bad. Kind of like how frostbite, I don't know if you guys seen him, but kind of same same thing happened here. Uh, and it could happen on cylinder five, you know, any cylinder. So if you guys think you have a lifter cam failure, let me know and uh, I'll let you know if you do. Like you don't even have to take your valve cover. Most people do, but I just took an educated guess. <laughs> and uh, we went ahead and uh, took all the cylinder head bolts out and put new ones in, new valve springs stock valve springs we put in the truck these are the stock ones he said that one of them was broken so we went ahead and replaced them all uh not sure which one it was broken he didn't show me but which one's the the bad lifter all right guys i finally found it this one was on number three so i want you guys to take a look at this what with the head what look at this bad like it doesn't even roll no more this one was eating it like this something like that so it used to be like this you know but this one was like completely destroyed it like which is it was gone it doesn't roll like i said it's supposed to roll like this like this you see like that yeah kind of blurry but there so this is like this and then this one was stuck. It was snap bro. So the these were actually replaced, like I said. All of them, one of them was cracked. I don't know which one it is. I'm not gonna look through all of them. But uh we went get went ahead and replaced them all with stock ones. Um and uh but yeah, these these are all the old parts. The truck has new parts. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and I start it start it up for you guys so you can hear how the truck sounds. This truck is uh it's gonna have some problems starting but i think it's just because it's it's the tune maybe it's just uh to drive the truck um so it can be drivable or it could be the battery because i think he said my battery was low so but here we go see nope doesn't want to start Get a good view for you guys. 
Uh, I'm just gonna do just a straight dry pull, not not any gearing, nothing like that. So you, hopefully you guys have a good view of the speedometer. Pull, but I feel like I can do better. Uh, yeah, a lot of spinning there. shifted way too late or, or it shifted by itself but <laughs> right, I'm, do, I'm gonna do one more oh damn I forgot how to pull again guys so we just got done doing some pulls um i'm back at the house already uh the truck runs fine i didn't notice it had some type of noise coming from the, like the driver's side header i think that uh maybe i need some more uh torquing and uh there's a noise right here in the front i'm gonna get that checked out because uh, uh i i never heard that noise before so but other than that the truck runs fine um, I know you saw it. You guys saw that uh, truck was having a little bit of trouble starting. So I'm gonna go and uh, take the battery to AutoZone, get it charged, and uh, see if it's good or bad. And because it also might be my uh, alternator or what is it, the the starter? Maybe just it's going out, or it could just be the tune that it's not set up properly. Because it's just the tune to run, have the truck running and drivable. Um, but yeah, other than that, everything seems fine. Uh, coolant wise, it's good. Uh, e fans are working like they should. And um, I'm gonna make more videos of this. I'll let you guys know I fixed that problem because um, I wanna get that checked out. But other than that, everything seems pretty good. I like the way the truck sounds, like I said. I might actually get a ghost cam tune because I just wanted a little bit more choppier, but it, it, it sounds pretty good. But anyways guys um thanks for tuning in for today's video uh don't forget to comment like subscribe and uh, i'll see you on the next video